Well, good morning. And the birds say so as well. It's the 24th of November, 2012. Oh, you can't see it very well. This is Bedrest Church. It's a uh, mite misty today. And I've got to be honest, that's the church house uh, named after the church. I don't think I've ever been, actually no, once. I need to go there. Anyway. Um, on the recommendation of Arthur Daly, not the Arthur Daly, Arthur, I'm off to a new pub today to investigate more tiny rebel. And where you have a church, you also have a chapel. It's a bit like that in Wales. And this is the view, looking down Church Street. Incidentally, the land on the left-hand side is freehold, church land. The land on the right-hand side is leasehold. Thank you, Church. Anyway, <laughs> um, there is an amber weather warning for today. Rain and wind. So the frost, well actually the foggy frost, no it's just frost, sorry, it's just fog, is the calm before the storm. Right, I have to get some gelt and some uh, papers. Um, big shout out to everyone in America. Happy belated Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Greetings and hats off to Cyber Monday. Another bed was cut. The crisp lights are turned on. The bridge. And there's the bridge that the bridge end refers to. And I am standing that hill there is built on terminal moraine. So I am standing where the glacier that came down the lower Romney Valley, in fact the whole of the Romney Valley, stopped. I really need some coffee and then some quality eggs. I'm anticipating more tiny rebel again. I'm not swerving, I'm mixing my words up yet. going to video it now because later on it's going to rain. There seems to be some sort of Christmas tree going on. Ready. Top right corner, Starbucks. And Christmas Prince Pie Cream and a latte. I know how to enjoy myself. So this is what I'm starting today. Um, the weather's most new, but we can get a beer at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's off again. Um, Christmassy stuff? Anyway, it's official. All you can get are uh, festive beers. So they will be dark, stronger, and have silly names. This is Rudolph's Reward by Shevening from Kent. Well, at 3.7% alcohol by volume and um, good for price than anything else. So let's have a crack. That carpet for Mr. Mountain. Alright, but a bit average. It's a bit, I don't want to say watery, but there's not much. It's a bitter, but there's not much of it. I'm going to say B. Don't get me wrong, this could be like a session ale, but B. There's a bit of a 
hula short was assaulted peanuts. And so uh, emergency hula hoops. Anyway, on to number two. Another winter ale. This is, I think it's Nutcracker. Do you with me, Cola? Yes, Nutcracker. From the Everhards Brothers at 5% alcohol by volume. <laughs> That's a powerful winter ale. I think a couple of those are going to blow my head off. I'm going to give that an A minus. That's what a winter warmer should be full body, creamy. And with a bit of a kick. Hats off, Edward. First of all, hats off to the staff in the John Wallace Linton. Um, sense of humour, good service, and uh, seasonal spices. <coughs> this is Lucky Dumpling from the Orkney Brewery. 4.3% alcohol by volume, all very festive. Now we've done the carpet. Let's do that tinsel. Look at that tinsel. And the Christmas tree. Yep, yeah, there's seasonal spices. And lamb eggs on the WhatsApp. Actually, that's. Oh! Oh, back wrenches on the case now. Um, a minus. This is a connected world. The carpenters and um, the pub don't the music. And a jug. Urban IPA by Tiny Rebel, 5.5% alcohol by volume. Gravity served. A minus. And a full glass. But that's the only one they got. I feel the pen and wig coming on. <laughs> so, okay, I've relocated to the pen and wig. Our village table. Um, battery management in process. Clutch by Tiny Rebel. 4.6% alcohol by volume. No dry roasted, they are salted peanuts. Very quality pool. A minus. Ops plus. Ireland, Argentina on the TV. Uh, Ireland are winning. Okay, this is Fighting Fox by Golden Valley Ales. I have no idea about the uh, alcohol by volume, but the original gravity is 1045. I'm sure if I looked on the interwebs I could find out what that is, but um, perhaps and tap will help me out. Creamy. Very creamy. Too creamy for me. B. 